This is representative of a patellar tendon tendinosis or dysfunction. You can see the tissue here that's kind of haphazardly laid down. You can see that it's kind of creating the, the ridges around here. That's kind of representative of all the scar tissue clinging to the surrounding muscle tissue. So when he actually bends his knee, you can see it's going to pull on all the surrounding tissue here. So it's not organized and it will repeatedly do that as he's actually going through that active range of motion. These are your patients that are going to have pain when they stretch and also pain when they contract their muscle. Because as you contract the muscle, it's also going to pull from these fibers and these cross-linked pieces of dysfunctional tissue onto the normal tissue that surrounds it. So now you can see what happens at the end of the dysfunction remodeling process. You have tissue that's nicely aligned, just like the normal tissue fibers would be. And whenever you actually bend and contract or stretch this tissue, it runs right along the line of pull. There's no cross linkage. There's nothing that would actually create pain. And when you contract, those fibers are not pulling on one another. They're acting just like normal muscle tissue or the tissue just before it was damaged is acting exactly like that. There will be no pain with this. You can stretch it to end range, you can load it to the nth degree, you can give eccentric loading, you can do plyometrics on this. It should not hurt because the tissue is completely remodeled as shown here.